literally a set of chopsticks that you get from a Chinese restaurant. We'll talk about that. Oh. Dark down here. It's, it's quite. Pro Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ian J. Cole. This channel is all about music and art. Uh, now this is a microphonic sound box. I think that channel two, uh, which is a mix, will mean that I, if I put, say, a, um, an effects unit into the input, then I'll get the mix out of both of those things. Now I haven't got an effects unit here, but actually when I do the next video, I'll use a reverb type unit, maybe a couple of other pedals and things like that. There are a few other things that I, I mean, we, we'll, we'll have a look at the add-on pack now. There are a couple of other things that I brought along as well, which are, I brought um, a set of drum, they're actually, it's a, it's a drum snare, I think it is. St yeah, 20 strand sn snare drum. Now these, this was bought for Pocklington Music uh, and it was £5.50. So we'll have a go at putting that on there. We'll open that up. The other things that I've brought are, so we've got that. So <clears throat> I brought a bow. Now I need to, I haven't got any rosin, so I'm only gonna, it's only just for this first experiment. I'm just tightening the bow up so we've got a bit of, there we go, that's better. So this is a, I think a half size bow. You can buy a bow from Leaf Audio with some rosin for 30 euros, uh, which doesn't sound like a bad deal. I can't remember how much this bow cost actually, but anyway, the idea being that we can, we can actually do things like But I need some rosin for that, really. Um, let's see what we can do with the snare. So that'll be useful. And last but not least, I've brought a pair of brushes. Which are, these are metal brushes. So That sort of thing. Now they're not cheap a set of brushes. Um, how much are these? They are 19.95. But if you've got, a, if you know a drummer friend who uh, has got an old set, which maybe maybe the, the handles are bent, something that sort that that sort of thing, um, then 
they, you know you may be able to if I can, you may be able to utilize an old set of those if that's what floats your boat let's have a look what we got in the add-on pack I'm just, I'm just going to turn it off for a moment and move that out of the way So in the add-on pack, we've got, it says we've got two compressed springs, big and small, one clockwork spring, one pair of chopsticks, five wobbly tension springs, one carbon strip, two thumb, th two thumb screws, two small magnets, and a 0.6mm steel spring cut to length with a Cut to length with a Dremel, cutting disc, etc. can damage your pliers. Okay, so this is very sort of Heath Robinson. Uh, so there's the um, set of chopsticks and they are just a, literally a set of chopsticks that you get from a Chinese restaurant. So the rest of these things. So we've got another carbon fiber tine. Uh, there's one of them, is it two magnets? There's one of them. Uh, and some springs, different size springs. Seem to have a, oh there's the, where's the other? So that's the spring, I think that's the spring to two compressed springs, big and small. So compressed springs Oh, magnets are, the magnets are getting in the way so yes two small magnets um, one clockwork spring I suspect this is the clockwork spring five wobbly tension springs which these are quite cool little things not those um, carbon strip two thumb screws Two small magnets, which we've got, and that this must be the spring, uh, the steel spring wire cut to length with a, a Dremel cutting disc, because and it can damage your pliers, as they say. So um, you can use that for anything we like, really. Um, and a laggy, but an electric, and a, a rubber band. So, um, let's put this stuff, so let's try it with some of this stuff and see what happens. There was something, one of the pictures that I saw, I'm just going to look at the pictures on the website. All right, okay, that's, a, that's quite a good idea. You can put the tines, you can put the tines into there and then bow them. It's, you can do almost anything you like with this sort of, Ah, there we go. Look, this the coiled spring has been fitted to there to see what it's like. We'll try that and see what happens, uh, and fitting other springs as well. So you can you can do all sorts of interesting things with this. With these. I'm going to leave the chopsticks for now. Um, let's just loosen these and put something inside there. Let's try. The, the tie will be similar to if you bow in the tie. The I get the fact that you you won't be able to bow it at that angle. If you're having it over a table, we could. So let's. Try things like Let's 
Oh, that's a great sound. One more thing I want to try. So what I've got here is some stones. I've got a just a beach pebble. I've got a very interesting, quite short. So I'm not into, not into, I'm not into rocks, so I don't really know quite what that is. Um, and I've got a, and a little shell. So let's see what those sound like. Well, I hope you found that useful. Um, in the next video in this series, which might be a, a week or so, because I've got some other other content to do. Uh, I'm about to head off to Synthfest tomorrow, so there's probably going to be some footage of that, which will take precedent over this. But actually, my next plan would be to plug this into a um, reverb unit, uh, maybe a chorus unit or some other effects units, um, and get some rosin for the bow, uh, and then make some interesting music with it. Um, so thanks so much for watching. If you like what I do, hit the subscribe button and ding that little bell if you want to be notified when the next videos go live. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye bye. <laughs>